Last November, the New England Journal of Medicine reported the results of a remarkable study on an experimental drug that dramatically improves treatment of African Americans with heart disease. The heart medication, as you've seen, known as Bidil, is now on course to become the first, quote, race drug, a prospect that has spanned a heated debate about what is race, not unlike the one that accompanied the publication of my book on race and sports published five years ago, Taboo, Why Black Athletes Dominate Sports and Why We're Afraid to Talk About It. Genetic researchers are increasingly challenging the one-size-fits-all treatment model that has advocated that therapies for a particular ailment should be applied to all patients regardless of ethnic and racial backgrounds. There's now overwhelming evidence that some genetic diseases target racial or ethnic groups more than others, as a generalization we're talking about. Population-based differences have spawned the field of pharmacogenomics, which incorporates genetic research to develop therapies that can be tailored to the small but meaningful biochemical differences that often distinguishes races, ethnic groups, and individuals.